People are still getting familiar with the idea of EVs, but the automobile market is already looking for cleaner energy to dish out more efficient, environment-friendly cars now and in the years to come. The focus is inching towards hydrogen-powered cars. This movement is championed by industry giants like Toyota, Hyundai and BMW. But in a shocking statement, Elon Musk, who never fancied hydrogen, has said Tesla will switch batteries to hydrogen by 2024, with the projected release of three cars within three years. The commercial sector is also making moves. There's much skepticism around the adoption of fuel cell vehicles. The idea is splendid, no doubt, and developed countries keen on bringing greenhouse gases to a minimum are optimistic of their potential. However, infrastructure to support the technology is inadequate, at least for now. Anyone would imagine the future of cars as electric and Tesla as the face of the revolution. But what if we told you that cars can be powered by the most abundant resource on Earth and the byproduct of the vehicle is only water? Hydrogen fuel cell vehicles are showing plenty of promise and fast becoming a threat to EVs for an innovation tagged as mind-bogglingly stupid by Tesla's CEO, who also refers to fuel cells as full cells. Nevertheless, he has revealed his company's plans to start producing hydrogen vehicles amid his repeated trolling of the idea. In today's video, we are going to talk about the new Tesla hydrogen motors and the ongoing superiority battle between FCVs and EVs. So stay glued to your screen to avoid missing a thing. Kindly subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification button if you haven't already. Let's get started. In FCVs, stored hydrogen combines with oxygen from the surroundings to power engines while electric cars rely on charged batteries. FCVs produce their own electricity on the go. The first in Tesla's upcoming series is the Model H. This car promises many exciting features and some more. It will cover more range, refuel faster and produce water, which is piped into the car for refreshment. And it is brutally fast. Its onboard hydrogen gives rocket-based flaming speed boost from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 1.2 seconds. Fast car lovers have something to drool over. At first, this innovation will break the bank, but Tesla hopes to put more affordable ones on the road after some time. As of now, FEVs are more expensive compared to EVs and costlier to fuel than internal combustion cars. But this is a solid improvement over EVs. Across Tesla's supercharger network, a car can charge from 30 to 50% within 50 minutes, while a full charge will take over an hour. This fact alone is slowing the adoption of EVs amid other concerns like range anxiety, they don't cover much distance, and cost. Meanwhile, the fuel cells need no recharging. You just need to fill your tank, which takes roughly five minutes. While Tesla is ready to breach new waters, other companies have taken the lead. Toyota has since released Mirai, and it looks to increase production 10 times to bring down its price. But infrastructure to support FCVs are posing serious barriers. The market is concentrated in California, and across the US, there are only about 40 hydrogen refueling stations. Also, there is the question of sourcing for the gas. Hydrogen is everywhere, but it doesn't exist independently. One way to obtain it is electrolysis of water, but with increasing demand, water won't suffice for long. The best source for mass hydrogen extraction is hydrogen gas, and cracking hydrocarbons releases emissions. It's like going in circles. In 2020, Elon Musk has said to Financial Times, the efficiency of electrolysis is poor. So you are really spending a lot of energy to split hydrogen and oxygen. Then you have to separate the hydrogen and oxygen and pressurize it. This also takes a lot of energy. And if you have to liquefy hydrogen, oh my god, the amount of energy required to make hydrogen and turn it into a liquid form is staggering. It is the most dumb thing that I could possibly imagine for energy storage. Volkswagen CEO Herbert Dice has weighed in on hydrogen cars too, just like Elon. He feels hydrogen fuel cars are anything but answers to emission-free driving. In a tweet, he said, the hydrogen car is proven not to be the climate solution. In transport, electrification has prevailed. Bogus debates are a waste of time. Please listen to the science. The government also has something to say. The current infrastructure for producing and getting hydrogen to consumers cannot yet support the widespread adoption of FCVs. While the enthusiasm around FCVs is growing by the day, the road to broad adoption seems rocky. In August 2021, Honda stopped production of its singular hydrogen model Clarity due to sluggish sales to focus on EVs. However, it is not the end for the Japanese company's hydrogen dreams. Earlier, it had promised a shift from gasoline cars to FCVs and EVs only by 2024, but the market for the former just hasn't gathered enough steam yet. Other automobile companies like Hyundai and River Simple are following the trend with sights on longevity and reliability. BMW is set to start its line of hydrogen-powered cars because the technology has long-term potential to supplement internal combustion engines. This hope has stretched to the larger vehicle industry. 
German company Alstom has unveiled the world's first passenger train with funding from the government. The noise is almost like a whisper and gives off condensed water as exhaust. Also, British slash American company Zero Avia is pulling all stops to begin operations in full swing by 2024 flying zero emission aircrafts. Meanwhile, Daimler Truck, the heavy lifting subsidiary of the Mercedes-Benz Group, believes both FCVs and EVs can go together, depending on purpose and utility. What do you think of this steady adoption of FCVs? Do they stand a chance of taking on EVs? Can the face of infrastructure change and shun naysayers? Whatever this power tussle results into, hydrogen powered vehicles are one to keep your eyes peeled for. Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.